Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to my YouTube channel. Name is Bruce, call sign G4ABX, and my videos are generally about low power portable operation, low power radio portable operation. Today's video is a little bit left field, and well, not tremendously left field, but when you're out operating portable, particularly in the UK, um, when it's not always boiling hot, um, you often need a warm drink at some point just to kind of keep you mentally focused. And my favoured warm drink is coffee. Normally an espresso when I'm at home, uh, but uh, coffee uh, in, in any form really. But I've been looking for some time for some kind of device to make coffee with when I'm out. Now I could take a camping stove and boil some water and make some instant coffee probably. Uh, I might take a small cafetiere and maybe use something like that. Um, but that all requires quite a lot of uh, faffing about <laughs> when what I'm really trying to do is to uh, operate and work as many stations as far away from uh, my place as I possibly can. And uh, I don't really want to spend uh, time trying to brew up coffee through various routes. So, looking for a simple coffee machine. Well, it was my birthday last week and my lovely wife bought me a very interesting, completely self-contained, battery-powered coffee maker. And I thought that um, this afternoon we'd go through a bit of an unboxing and um, maybe later in the week we'll, uh, we'll brew some coffee with it and, and see what it tastes like. So, without further ado, I'm going to switch to the desk. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. <laughs> it's the Makita cordless coffee maker. What a clever idea. What a really clever idea. Um, those of you like me who've done a bit of DIY over the years have probably already got numerous um, battery powered devices and um, I, I have a bunch of Makita kit as it happens, um, DIY products. And of course, therefore, I've got uh, a bunch of batteries. Um, and the beauty of this device is it will pretty much take any of the batteries that uh, your Makita home stuff has used, uh, be it fairly old or fairly new. So let's uh, open this up and let's have a look. Oh, first thing to say is uh, Amazon Warehouse. Uh, <laughs> So, I haven't paid full price for this. You never quite know whether it's worth paying full price if you can get it a, a little bit cheaper uh, to try out something new you've not seen before. So, unboxing. Um, comprehensive uh, manual in a gazillion different languages. Um, so, if we open at the front, um, yeah, good diagrams as to what does what, how it works, how you put various things in, what to fill, etc. And, and an important uh, warning and safety rules. Let's just spend a second or two talking about those. I mentioned that this unit uses the Makita batteries. Um, the batteries are lithium ion batteries and whilst they're perfectly safe when they are in their encasement, um, you've got to treat these batteries with respect. No drilling holes through them, bouncing them around the ground, um, short-circuiting them or, or doing stupid things with them because they they are, will not be good, um, but if you treat them with respect, they'll last you many years. So that's probably all I need to say about batteries. Uh, but it's it's an important aspect, and particularly if you're like I'm going to be taking this device with me, travelling, um, then you know you're you're travelling with lithium ion batteries. Uh, you just need to be careful, and and these have a fair amount of energy. Uh, when you think that, uh, I think um, here's, here's one of them, here's my 18 volt uh, 3 amper hour uh, battery that's uh, off one of my drills. Um, it's a chunk of energy when you think that you're going to boil water, uh, sufficient a cup of water from a battery, um, you can imagine that takes quite a lot of energy. Just think how long it takes to boil a cup of water in your kettle plugged into the mains and um, that'll give you some idea of the sort of energy contained in one of these batteries. So just treat them with respect and everything will be wonderful. Okay, right, let's unbox this beast. 
Okay, oh, something down there, what's that? Aha! Oh, the business end. <laughs> so this is the uh, filter. Uh, put your coffee in there, place that in there, and I guess plug this in the machine. Let's keep on taking it apart and have a look. Okay, dispense with the box. Another bit of cardboard and final bit of cardboard. And uh, now let's uh, slide the machine out. Well, I have to say, I'm quite impressed. Well, what a neat piece of kit. Ah, yes, here's the, uh, here's the battery compartment. And as I, as I said, it'll take the uh, CXK and LK LKT batteries. So these are, these CXT rather, and LKT batteries. These are 12 volt versions and these are 18 volts. And I've actually, I've pulled the 18 volt out of my drill. We don't do a lot of drilling. Well, I have, but my good lady wife has been doing a lot of drilling. Um, so let's just insert that in. There we go. Super. So there you can see how the battery fits on the side. Um, water dispenser here, which you can fill up um, 240 mils maximum. I should probably do half of that. And um, on the side here, ah, that's another, that's a holder for coffee pots. That'll take two different sizes of coffee pod, or as I will probably do, um, use the coffee filter machine. And in here, just tip this on the back, you can have a look, is the really nice aluminium or stainless steel cup. Oh, in fact, it's a double insulated cup. In other words, it, there's a there's a space between the uh, inner and outer, so that'll keep your stuff nice and warm. Um, top for it as well, and um, yeah, that should stand many knocks. <laughs> Very well done. Uh, on off button. I shan't do that. I just pressed it on just to show you. So it's a simple on off. And, uh, and leave it to heat the water. So, what an interesting device. If you think of all the uh, workmen that have probably been to your house, I think most of them will have probably come <laughs> with a Makita portable radio. Certainly all the guys that seem to come and do work at our place have always got one. Um, and they're, they're always, they always look beat up, but they still work. So... Uh, it's uh, pretty reliable stuff. I'm, uh, I'm quite impressed with the kit that we've got. So later in the week, we'll do a bit of a brew. Um, coffee making is another passion of uh, my wife and mine. Um, and uh, we roast our own coffee these days, uh, grind it and create different uh, blends. Uh, and we'll have a go at uh, perfecting something for this machine. So I shall take this with me on the next uh, parks on the air radio activation that I do. Um, there are a couple of kind of worldwide continuous competitions that you can enter as a radio amateur. One is parks on the air, uh, where you basically drive up to a park, find yourself a park bench and park yourself there as it were. <laughs> uh, this would be fine for that. Um, the other one is summits on the air, where you, you drive up to a car park and put a backpack on your back and disappear up a mountain um, to operate and this is probably not ideally suited to that so <laughs> I still need a solution for summits on the air but uh, that'll be something new for me this year. I haven't done summits on the air before. I haven't done any camping I think since I was about 14 years old so the Duke of Edinburgh's award was the last time I did any camping. So that's all I wanted to say today. Um, we'll be back later in the week uh, with some brewing um, and some optimization of the of the blend uh, for the machine. So I hope you found that interesting and enjoyable. And um, I'll say 73s for now. And I hope you have a great day. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.